Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video we will go over 20 electronics information questions for the ASFOB test. To study more, download the ASFOB GT from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. In this schematic, the total resistance is A. 50 ohms B. 200 ohms C. 500 ohms D. 1000 ohms The answer is A. In the schematic, two 100 ohm resistors are connected in parallel. The formula for total resistance R sub T in parallel is 1 divided by R sub T equals 1 divided R sub 1 plus 1 divided R sub 2. Therefore, the total resistance is 50 ohms. Question 2. The name of the device that restricts current flow to a single direction is A. Transistor B. Resistor C. Capacitor D. Diode The answer is D. A diode is a device that restricts current flow to a single direction, allowing it to pass only from the anode to the cathode. This unidirectional behavior makes diodes essential in rectifying circuits and protecting components from reverse voltage. Transistors, resistors, and capacitors do not perform this function. Question 3. What kind of circuit is an example of electrical current flowing from one component to the next? A. Open. B. Parallel. C. Series. D. Sequential. The answer is C. A series circuit is an example where electrical current flows from one component to the next in a single path. Each component is connected end-to-end, -end, so the same current passes through all components. Open circuits prevent current flow, parallel circuits have multiple paths, and sequential is not a standard term for circuits. Question 4. A standard multimeter does not measure. A. Voltage. B. Frequency. C. Current. D. Resistance. The answer is B. A standard multimeter measures voltage, current, and resistance. However, it does not typically measure frequency. Specialized multimeters or additional equipment are required to measure frequency. Standard multimeters are essential tools for diagnosing electrical circuits by checking these three basic electrical properties. Question 5. When the current flow is cut off by a blown fuse, the circuit becomes A. Closed B. Parallel C. Open D. Shorted The answer is C. When a fuse blows and cuts off the current flow, the circuit becomes open. An open circuit means there is a break in the path, preventing current from flowing. In contrast, a closed circuit allows current to flow, a parallel circuit provides multiple paths, and a shorted circuit bypasses the intended path. Question 6. If you want to measure resistance with an ohmmeter, you need to a. Observe polarity b. Connect the power c. Insulate probes d. Disconnect the power The answer is d. To measure resistance with an ohmmeter, you need to disconnect the power to ensure accurate readings and prevent damage to the meter. Measuring resistance in a live circuit can lead to incorrect readings and potential harm to the device or the user. Therefore, the correct answer is to disconnect the power. Question 7. A conductor is any material that A. Has free electrons B. Has free ions C. Has free protons D. All of the above. The answer is D. A conductor is any material that has free electrons, free ions, or free protons. These free particles allow electric charge to move easily through the material, enabling the flow of electric current. Materials with no free electrons, free ions, or free protons do not conduct electricity as effectively. Question 8. What is an amplifier? A. A device that makes audio signals reach farther. B. A device that increases signal strength. C. A device that has extra capacitors to increase amperage. D. A device that increases sound fidelity by decreasing resistance. The answer is B. 
An amplifier is a device that increases signal strength. It boosts the power of audio, radio, or other signals without significantly altering the original signal's content. Amplifiers are essential in various electronic devices to enhance the strength of weak signals, making them more powerful for further processing or output. Question 9. The best reason for using a filter in a power supply is to a. Convert alternating current to direct current. b. Change direct current to alternating current. c. Even out voltage variations. d. Smooth out power surges. The answer is c. The best reason for using a filter in a power supply is to even out voltage variations. Filters help stabilize the output by removing fluctuations and noise from the power supply, ensuring a consistent and smooth DC voltage. This stability is crucial for the proper functioning of electronic devices. Question 10. A current that changes polarity many times per second is called A. Direct current B. Reciprocating current C. Alternating current D. AC-DC current. The answer is C. A current that changes polarity many times per second is called alternating current, AC. AC periodically reverses direction, unlike direct current, DC, which flows in one direction. This reversal allows efficient transmission of electricity over long distances. Question 11. Another name for a transistor is a. An integrated circuit. B. A semiconductor. C. A transfer resistor. D. A pedigree connector. The answer is B. Transistors are semiconductor devices used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. They are not integrated circuits, which are complex assemblies of multiple components. Pedigree connector is not a standard term in electronics. Question 12. A capacitor connected in series obtains a resulting value. A. Greater than the sum of the individual capacitor values. B. Equal to the sum of the individual capacitor values. C. Less than that of the smallest capacitance. D. Produces a neutral change in capacitance values. The answer is C. When capacitors are connected in series, the resulting capacitance is less than that of the smallest individual capacitor. This occurs because the reciprocal of the total capacitance is the sum of the reciprocals of each individual capacitance. This arrangement decreases the overall capacitance value. Question 13. A 120 volt circuit has a resistance of 20 ohms. How much current is present in the circuit? A. 0.5 amperes. B. 3 amperes. C. 6 amperes. D. 9 amperes. The answer is C. To find the current in the circuit, we use Ohm's law, which states the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. Here, the voltage, V, is 120 volts and the resistance, R, is 20 ohms. Therefore, the current present in the circuit is 6 amperes. Question 14. The property of a circuit that opposes the flow of electrons is a. Reactance b. Capacitance c. Resistance d. Inductance The answer is c. The property of a circuit that opposes the flow of electrons is resistance. Resistance hinders the movement of electric current through a conductor, converting electrical energy into heat. Reactance, capacitance, and inductance also affect current flow but in different ways. Question 15. A neon bulb emits light because A. The current flows through the neon gas. B. The glass is blue in color. C. The gas is blue in color. D. The bulb gets hot. The answer is A. A neon bulb emits light because a current flows through the neon gas inside it. This electrical current excites the neon atoms, causing them to emit light as they return to their lower energy states. The glass color or bulb temperature doesn't directly cause the emission of light. Question 16. Which one of the following devices converts light energy into electrical energy? A. 
radio. B. Radar. C. Stereo speaker. D. Photoelectric cell. The answer is D. A photoelectric cell converts light energy into electrical energy. It works by using the photoelectric effect, where light photons strike a material and cause it to emit electrons, generating an electrical current. The other devices listed do not perform this function. Question 17. Which of the following best carries electric current? A. Transformers. B. Conductors. C. Switches. D. Resistors. The answer is B. Conductors best carry electric current. They are materials that allow the flow of electric charge with minimal resistance, such as copper or aluminum. Transformers, switches, and resistors are components that interact with electric current in different ways but do not primarily carry it. Question 18. What metal is most commonly used as a conductor? A. Aluminium. B. Copper. C. Chromium. D. Lead. The answer is B. Copper is the most commonly used metal as a conductor. It has excellent electrical conductivity, making it ideal for electrical wiring in various electronic components. While aluminum is also used, copper's higher conductivity and durability make it more prevalent in many applications. Question 19. Which of the following is the smallest in size and can amplify electrical signals? A. Transistor. B. Battery. C. Switch. D. Relay. The answer is A. A transistor is the smallest device among the options that can amplify electrical signals. It is a semiconductor component used to amplify or switch electronic signals and power. Batteries, switches, and relays serve different functions and are generally larger compared to transistors. Question 20. Which of the following cannot be used to store an electrical charge? A. Fuse. B. Dielectric. C. Capacitor. D. Battery. The answer is A. A fuse cannot be used to store an electrical charge. It is designed to protect electrical circuits by melting and breaking the circuit if the current exceeds a certain level. In contrast, dielectrics, capacitors, and batteries are all used for storing electrical charge in different ways. To study more, Download the ASFOB GT from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.